Okay, now we're going to analyze our data, and to analyze it, we're going to use um, some other packages. I mentioned packages uh, a little bit before. Um, especially, we're going to use, um, to make some graphs, I'm going to use one called uh, ggplot. Okay, the way that you get the packages, click on install, and then type the name. Uh, we want ggplot2, and click install. Okay, and then you'll see ggplot2 is here. And I'm also going to install um, a package called ty, uh, not tidy, tidyr. And one more package called uh, plier. And then the way you activate the packages is you come over here to packages and then you see okay there's ggplot and you just click on it and activate it like that. Now this uh, ggplot2 package um, we use to make, uh, it makes very nice graphs. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you um, this is the right here this is the command for uh, making a basic box plot and that's the main reason I made this video is because box plots are so hard to make in Excel and so easy to make in R the command we're using is ggplot not ggplot2 that's the name of the package ggplot with parentheses and then we want to say what the name of our data set is our data set is gorilla data and then basically what I'm going to plot is the number of aggressive behaviors as determined by the condition okay so I put the x-axis of my graph I have to put the command AES here and then in parentheses the x-axis first okay here's the x-axis and then here's the y-axis aggressive and that's based on this name right here condition aggressive right condition aggressive and you got to be careful about capital letters R cares about capital letters Okay, so this first uh, ggplot um, command makes the, it chooses what's going to be their x and y variables and what's your data set, but then you have to put a plus and you're going to choose what kind of plot it's going to be. So we're going to make a box plot, okay? And if I run that command, then over here you can see this is the, the box plot I get, okay? Here's my three conditions and here's my aggressive behavior. Now, one thing I don't like, I'm, I'm gonna, now I'm going to show you how I'm going to tweak this graph to make it so I like it. Uh, one thing I don't like is I don't like the control to be in the middle. Um, so I'm going to use this command here, factor, to re or, uh, reorder the factors in this variable. So I have three factors here, classical music, jungle sound, and control. So what I do is, the way I uh, access this column of data is I use this dollar sign so gorilla data dollar sign condition that is means this one I'm gonna that I'm gonna write over that and I'm gonna use the command factor gorilla data dollar sign condition okay and then I'm gonna use the old C command that we learned before and I'm gonna type the names of the variables they have to be exactly the same as they are here but I'm going to put them in order that I want. So control, jungle sounds, classical music. Okay? And if I run that command, um, nothing's going to, you're not going to see anything change. But now if I make this plot again, you'll see that uh, control is first, jungle sound is second, classical music is left. Uh, sorry, right. Okay? Um, I don't like the labels, just aggressive and condition, so I can put another plus here. I'm going to go down a line and use the command labs, which can give me my labels. So I'm going to make the X label nothing. And the Y label I'm going to make um, number of aggressive behaviors. And then we go back and we uh, uh, run, and you have to have the plus here. The plus tells R that there's another line that it's going to wait for. So you run that. Okay, and now you can see that um, my x-axis, just like I said, has nothing on it except for the control, jungle sounds, classical music, but no label. 
and my y-axis now says number of aggressive behaviors. And then if I want to um, save this graph, I can uh, click export and save as PDF or save, I usually save it as an image, um, maybe a PNG, click save and then you can keep it.